We have new information now on the deaths of missing mom Susan Powell's husband and two children. This morning, officials in Washington state say Josh Powell carefully planned the murder-suicide, brutally attacking his sons before setting fire to the house. National correspondent Ben Tracy has more. As arson investigators continue to search through what's left of the Powell home, the medical examiner now says seven-year-old Charlie and five-year-old Braden Powell suffered chop injuries to their head and necks. The sheriff says their father, Josh Powell, then started the house on fire. We found two five-gallon cans of gas. Uh, one of them was with the bodies. The other one, we believe, was spread throughout the house. There was accelerants throughout the whole entire house. Police say before he carried out the murder-suicide, Powell donated his son's toys to charity and left instructions about his personal effects in multiple emails. He sent some emails out to family and a pastor and some other people uh, making sure that everybody knew that he was gone, that he was the one that did this. He had put a plan in motion and he carried it out. Powell had been under police scrutiny following the suspicious disappearance of his wife, Susan Cox Powell, from their Utah home in December 2009. Six days ago, he lost a battle with Susan's parents for custody of his sons. Just senseless, you know, slaughter to innocent children. Chuck and Judy Cox say their grandkids were at their home playing before Sunday's court-ordered visit with Josh. They were having a good time. They didn't want to stop and go see Daddy today. They had seemed to be losing interest in going to see him. It was Judy who talked the boys into going, and she says she will have to live with that regret. Yeah, because look what happened. And, but I knew that they, they're supposed to be able to see their dad. There was too many warning signs that I feel were, were known, but uh, due to legal limitations, were unable to be acted upon. Josh Powell never mentioned Susan in his goodbye emails. An attorney for the Cox family says the kids had recently talked about seeing their mom in the trunk of the car the night she vanished. He also says authorities told the family that Josh Powell was likely to be arrested in the coming months. One of the things that was done here was he destroyed the evidence. And as callous as that sounds, he destroyed the evidence because those guys could have been the best evidence against him. For CBS This Morning, I'm Ben Tracy in Los Angeles.